Gym fans, welcome back to the podcast. It's the 28th of April, 2022. Let's get straight into the news, people. There's been a lot of chatter about how the recent Warner Discovery merger could affect all elite wrestling. Long-time fans immediately became nervous at the thought of a corporate merger affecting their favourite wrestling brand. WCW was effectively killed when AOL Time Warner Media pairing decided they no longer wanted wrestling on the Turner Networks. That was back then. Many have the sinking feeling that history could repeat itself. Thus far, there is no indication that the company intends to drop AEW just yet from its lineup. The show has drawn strong ratings in its time slots and under the current rights deal, it's a bargain. The media landscape is changing quickly though. Major cuts have been announced for scripted programming within the newly merged channel. If things go wrong, the new management decided they're no longer interested, they could drop all elite wrestling if it isn't worth the investment. Tony Khan has plenty of options. Dave Meltzer talked about those options on the Wrestling Observer Radio. Even without Warner Discovery in the picture, AEW would likely live on. Wrestling fans, not a lot of people are actually reporting this. If you give a good count of your product, the channel won't drop you. So make your, make your wrestling watchable, do you understand? That's all you've got to do. Keep your brand looking good. Make sure your shows are booked well. That's all you've got to do. AEW is a very valuable property for broadcasters who are interested in live programming. It may be that the company's current partners are just happy with the product right now. If not, there are plenty of options for Tony Khan to move the company into the future. Like I just stated then, people, you need to keep the wrestling good. WrestleMania really showed the whole world how big WWE really are when it comes to their wrestling product. Okay, AEW's great and all. They've got CM Punk. They've got Daniel Bryan. I get that. It's nice. But when it comes to a global scale, AEW is nothing on the WWE. And in the long term, if AEW want to stay in the game and stay on major networks, they have to give us good wrestling. But that's just my thoughts and opinions, people. There's news coming out that um, WWE are planning more huge stadium shows for 2023. So... AEW really, really need to up their game, people. Give the video a thumbs up, hit that bell, share, subscribe.